What's up guys, Everything Apple Pro here, and this is part 6 of my top 10 tweaks series. So like always, I'll be showing you a collection of 10 tweaks, some of them new, some of them that have been updated from iOS 7 to support the newest firmware, and this is all for the jailbreak that you guys have just completed. Whether it be Pangu or Taiji, or even the Evasion iOS 7 jailbreak, this will support all of those. So this is a collection of new and old tweaks for the iPhone 6 Plus, iPhone 6, iPhone 5S, you know, smaller devices work as well. And this does support the newest iOS 8.1.1 firmware, as well as older firmwares, including iOS 7. Now, before I begin this video, you guys will need to install one source to get some of these applications. So go ahead and click on this link right here or down below in the description, and it'll take you to my article with the source, and it'll have a few bonus tweaks in there that I won't mention in this video. So make sure to click on that link right there or down below in the description and it'll take you to that article. So first one I'm gonna be showing you guys is Eternum. Now this isn't anything new. You guys have already seen this in a separate video. However, it's just been updated with some great new features. So one of the best things about Eternum has always been how fluid it is. I mean, look at this. So I can actually move the icons and they'll keep moving. It's so soft and so fluid how this works. I love it. It's the best Apple Watch UI there is on Cydia right now. So this latest version has been updated and if I zoom out, I can show you there is now a diamond layout on the home screen and you can change this from the square to the diamond and I actually like the diamond better. If you have less apps, it arranges it in a better fashion so it looks like it's more full. And I mean, I gotta say, I love how fluid it is. It works so much better. It's more stable than other Apple Watch UIs as well. And I just wanna go ahead and show you how the settings look right now. Of course, you can enable Eternum with an activator setting up here. And here are the new settings. So you can now enable it in a diamond or a rectangle fashion. Now with every setting, you do have to respring the device. So most tweaks no longer have to do this as they become more and more optimized. And however, this one you still do. Now you can choose, of course, as always, how many icons you want down below on your dock. And there's a lot of other settings in here as well. So with every update, Eternum keeps getting more fluid, you know, better. And I don't really see how much better it can get than this. But one thing I do like about it is the search feature. So right in the smack dab middle of it, well, depending on where that's at, you can actually search for your device because I know it'll get confusing. You know, all your icons are scattered. You don't know where they're at until you've been using it for a while. So it is very handy to have this little search icon down here. Anyways, guys, that's Eternum. It's been updated and now it's even better for iOS 8. Next is CarPlay for iOS. Now this is the very first Cydia tweak that's ever ported CarPlay to iOS. I know there's another one in the works right now by a different developer and that one is gonna be miles better, but this is the one that accomplished it first. So basically what it allows you to do is actually bring CarPlay, the entire interface to iOS. So it's extremely limited right now. Right now it only supports music and this guy right here. So you can actually mount it to your car through an iPad or iPhone and have that CarPlay experience on your iOS device instead of actually having to buy a new car that supports it. And then right now, this one in particular is extremely limited. It only plays music, but I can see it bringing maps over, you know, third-party applications as well. And it'll be really cool to see this in your car, make the car driving experience a lot better. And Siri is gonna be integrated as well, as well as the messages. So this is just pretty much considerate a very early preview of what's to come. Next is Clex 2. Now this isn't anything new. It's been updated from iOS 7. However, it's a very welcome addition to iOS. So let's say you're inside of an application and you wanna switch the song or find a new one. Well, Clex 2 allows you to do that very simply. Just slide from the edge of the screen on the right and it'll bring up this little interface. So if you don't have any music in your library, it will play from iTunes radio. And you know, in here you can actually skip through songs and let's say you wanna find a song. Instead of actually switching to the music application and searching in there, just swipe from the other edge of the screen. There you go and just search for the song you want in here. And now I don't have anything in my media right now, but it is really cool because it saves you some time. You know, if you're doing something inside an application and you don't want to switch it out, really cool. You just swipe from the edge of the screen and you can search for a song in here or switch a song in here. So really cool, it's called Clex 2 for iOS 8 and iOS 7 enabled devices. Next is Burst GIF. So it does exactly what the name suggests. And if you ever take a burst of anything, uh, I don't know, just just to show you guys, then this allows you to make that burst into an actual GIF. So really cool. I mean, you just go into the settings for it and you have to go ahead and select, you know, select which ones you want. It lets you make a GIF from those selected pictures. So I didn't do anything special. Actually, you know, I'm just gonna show you how to export this and I'm gonna show you another one I made, but let's say done. And now you have an option to export to GIF. 
you can do how many frames per second you want the what equals one frame per second just like that and export and it will actually make a new category inside of your photos that says gifs here are all the ones i made they're very small but it does actually let you make gifs from those photos next is acapella so this actually allows you to streamline your controls for music inside of the control center you tap once to play a song and then you can scroll in here for the volume now you can slide it or you can tap right here to make it louder or quieter really cool and you know it's a very elegant little way to streamline the music inside of here now not only does it work in there it actually works inside of the music application as well so it's exactly the same. And I think this is a neat little tweak, acapella for iOS 8. Now the following one is a really tiny, but a nice addition to iOS 8. It's called Predix 2. And what it allows you to do is check the amount of time of battery life you have left on your device. Now this applies to all devices on both iOS 8 and iOS 7. And you do have to set a gesture through activator in order to activate it, but mine is triple click on the home screen. Let me go ahead and do that and cool, it brings this up. So now you have this nice elegant battery icon and it'll tell you in how long your device will power down based on how you're currently using your device. So cool, just tap it and it goes away. I think it's really nice. So for this next one, I'm gonna have a little bit of trouble actually showing it to you guys, but it's called 3G Unrestrictor. And what it allows you to do is, if you've ever gotten a pop-up from any application, say anything from the App Store to the YouTube application that you have to be on Wi-Fi in order to do this, 3G Unrestrictor basically allows you to do any of those actions through LTE or 3G. For example, if you're watching a YouTube video and you wanna watch it in high quality, it doesn't let you do that unless you're on Wi-Fi. Well, this pretty much removes that restriction and allows you to go ahead and do that or if you've ever downloaded an over-the-air update and you have unlimited data you don't need to be connected to Wi-Fi anymore to do it you can just do it straight through your internet connection as well as downloading any applications over a hundred megabytes from the App Store so it's called 3G Unrestrictor it does cost money however it's well worth it all right and the next two tweaks are enabled from the lock screen so one of them is called Apple NC and it actually brings face recognition unlock to your iOS device let me go ahead and do it with my face real quick recognized EAP and it goes in so sorry my face is blocked behind the camera but it does actually actively scan your face and it'll you know unlock if it does see your face and it's hard to show you guys but I am in there you know just enter the passcode and it'll work just as well and this works very well with the next tweak I'm about to show you and that's called guest mode just one last thing I just want to show you guys is how to enable the faces so you do have to set up the faces manually before actually doing the tweak and inside of the settings so you pretty much do have to set up your face before it'll take however many pictures you want to ensure accuracy you know you can do that in there and it works very well actually it's actually quite accurate and it'll tell you how well the match is. Um, so the confidence is pretty high, but basically it works very well as a face screen unlocker, very reliable. However, I can see this not being a very great security tool because someone will just put a picture up there and you know it'll go in. Now this works very well with guest mode. So here it is. Now you can either add a toggle onto your lock screen or if you slide over this way, it'll go ahead and open up the guest mode itself. I have a guest mode enabled to either swipe right and get in there or from the click on the lock screen. So I'm just gonna go ahead and press that guy and it takes you to guest mode. Now in guest mode, you can choose which applications stay or which ones don't. And you can have all the icons displayed and they just won't work if you click on them. But these are the ones I chose to keep and they will work. Now careful, with the phone application, you can actually go into recents, go into message and see all the messages in there. So this is pretty much a way to enable a guest mode on iOS, you know, let someone use your device without actually seeing all of your private data. Maybe they just wanna look something up on the internet or make a phone call, something like that. So pretty much a neutered version of iOS 8 and I'm just gonna show you the settings real quick that allow you to change things. And in here, there's quite a bit. So first off, you can enable how you want it to activate. And then down here, you can choose which applications you want it to display or not display. And you know, all these little gestures, everything. It pretty much does everything. So in enabled apps, just wanna show you, here are the ones I have enabled. Now let's say I don't want them to see the clock. All you have to do is uncheck it, and then you'll go into guest mode and it'll go ahead and you know, it'll no longer be there. 
So it's great guys, I really like this tweak actually. So there's no longer a clock in here and it does let people use your device somewhat without actually getting into all of the private data. And for the last tweak, it's very related to Apple Enchi. So basically last week during my video, I had a lot of people ask me, how do I get BioProtect without a Touch ID enabled device? Well, this is a way to get an extra layer of security on your applications without actually having a Touch ID sensor and it uses your face. So it's very related to this guy. You have to get Apple Enchi and then you can get Apple Locker. So let me go ahead and input my passcode and I already locked Snapchat. So let's say I wanna open up Snapchat. It'll ask me to verify with Apple Enchi, but it won't actually give you that little icon. Let me go ahead and do it real quick and it recognized my face, there we go. So Apple Locker is a way to add an extra layer of security to your applications without actually having this guy down here. I like it, it works very simple, and it does also work from this guy down here. Anyways guys, that's my next top 10 tweaks, part six. There have been so many tweaks, it's hard for me to catch up and show all of them, but I've been doing my best. I know you guys do like these compilations, so I'll be posting more of them. There's actually a few really cool tweaks that are coming out next week, they're brand new, and I'm happy to share them with you guys next Week. Anyways, of course, to install these, you guys will need that source. So make sure to click on that link right there or click down below in the description. And there are a few bonus tweaks that I didn't show you guys in this video down there as well. So make sure to click that and guys enjoy these tweaks. Enjoy all the awesome things you guys can do to your device after jailbreaking. So have a great day guys. Peace.